Hello YouTube, P2000 Row back again. I'm sorry to be back a lot, but that's, I'm sorry, okay. I'm just trying to make videos so people know I'm still alive. Um, but this is just a quick video on my Ertl Thomas the Tank Engine toys that I've got at the moment. I did have some more, but I sold them accidentally, and I regret it now. And I wish that I'd kept hold of them. And like just about every old bit of Thomas the Tank Engine toy trains. But anyways, let's just look at the characters I have at the moment. Because first thing tomorrow, I'm going to start looking at more diecast metal trains. It would like this. So here's start with... This is my first, or well, one of my Ertl Thomases. That has appeared to be in such a bad condition. Because when I got it, I did try to paint it. To look like Stan Lee from the Great Discovery DVD. But luckily I was able to somewhat fix this Thomas. So what I did was I um, tried to clean it up. This side it has a nice better lettering. The other side, the striping is has come off more. But that's okay because I can somewhat fix it if you guys have any ideas if I can get the tooling um, the number one I've printed off because the other one had faded off all I had to do was unscrew the chassis from it and so it appears to be just about okay but I want to find another Ertle Thomas in the best condition but not a single Thomas, so I want to look for like one in like a train set or something with like its coaches. Let me know in the comments. Like I wish I hadn't let go of my Ertles because how old they are, and also the fact that they're one of the only first Thomas toys you could have got in the past. I was gonna consider buying more of the Adventures Thomas, but I've realised that. The older Ertl toys are much better than the new rubbish adventures. The only adventures I've bought so far are just these two, Theo and Lexi, Frankie, and all the others you've seen in my previous videos, so um, check my channel in the bit below. Anyways, this is just my... Uh, so let's have a look at the trains I've got. So I've got the Thomas, which I still hold I've, most of these I've still held hold on to so here's Oliver the green and the reason why he's got bits of white on this because when I was like two or three I must have got toothpaste on him because when I was younger I always loved to cover my trains up and like play dirty with them I mean real steam trains have that weird stuff but he's dated 2001, Ertl, made in China, USA, but I'm British, I don't know how I got this one, I don't remember going abroad to buy this toy, I didn't even get it online, I got it when I was a young child, but he's a pretty good toy, so that's this, and let's just look at the tank engines first, so this is, the only, there's only three tank engines I've got. Thomas, Oliver, and number 55, Stepney. So, this one is in almost good condition, except the face. It might have got dirty from when I was a kid, and it appears to have a bit of love on it. And if I do want any more of these Ertl diecast toys, I want them in the best condition possible. Here's Stepney. And after looking for the Ertles, I think I'll consider looking for take-alongs or more take-alongs. The new, the other bit of Thomas the Tank Engine toys. So that's Stepney, and here's one of my very first Emilys that I've had. Now this Emily, I've used on my, I've kept because I wanted to like, have as many Emilys as I could. This wheel here is fake, the driving wheel. But the rest of the wheels are real, so she is a push toy. And she does run on these, most of these are almost compatible with the Adventures track that I got from when I was at holiday in Whitby. But yeah, that's Emily. Now let's have a look at one of the characters I did have once, but then I 
must have lost it. This one is called the City of Turo. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, here we go. City of Turo, the sticker's peeled off, and it's got a lot of, like, scratches, which I can easily fix. So, like, on top, I can fix it with a permanent marker. Where on the roof and on the front, the locomotive. But I'm not sure if I have the colour to fix the green chips on the locomotive. This is a good toy, though. City of Turbo. Now, let's have a look at the diesels that I've got. These are the only diesels that I've got now, like from my collection of turtles. This is called Diesel 7101. Now, this one I was going to keep because I wanted to look for like a Hornby version of this. From the Thomas the Tank range. But this type of metal one is just as good. Because it's made of metal. And these toys are somewhat compatible with those chests on this to know to fit on the adventures track. And I wish I had the energy to like shorten the base with screws here. Maybe I could fix this. But I'd much rather not because that might spoil the toy. I don't want to end up damaging or destroying it. Children's toys, which might be some more. Diesel 10, one of our least favourite villains, but I actually love Diesel 10 and pretty much most Thomas villains. Then I will do anything to buy more villains, like I want more toys of Diesel, toys of the lorries, and maybe toys of George. Possibly any of the Thomas the Tank Engine troublemakers. Cause chaos in my channel is what I want. So this diesel ten sucks because he doesn't have a claw. His claw doesn't move. No, he's still got the price tag underneath four pound. But I'm not selling it because it's old. And here's my one and only. Do you remember this train's name? It's number. Come on, camera, focus. Number five <clears throat> D five seven oh two. I remember the name of this train is called Boko. This is the only mod this is the only toy of Boko that I've got. It's the only Boko toy train that I've got from Thomas the Tank. But if I do want any Bocos, I want them to be in the best condition if I want any more. And I also want one for my double O gauge train board to go with Bill and Ben. But Boco, pretty good toy. Um, the only, Another one of the good things I've got from when I was younger. Now let's have a look at the Scarlowy or Narrow Gauge trains from what they're like a the smaller scale. So Scarlowy. Um, almost good condition. Sir Handle. I mean, I'm missing Reneus to go between number one and three. Peter Sam, number four. And number five is missing, which is um, an orange diesel. Let me know who it is in the comments. If anyone knows. Duncan, number six. And I thought these were stealing numbers from Thomas and Friends, like Percy and Percy's number six as well. So that's Duncan. Duke. This is my only toy of Duke that I've got. So anyone know what other old Duke train toys I can buy? Comment. Um, yeah, let me put the narrow git. And then also I've got a Coldy, a purple, double-faced train so on one side he has a face which is a bit beaten up and this one is super beaten up I might get like a purple permanent marker and just fix up the purple by getting chipped edges everywhere if I can find the right stuff and the face on the back Coldy is the number four let me put the engines back <coughs> pardon me I'm coughing from talking too much. 
Goldie. One of the only purple drones I've got. Um, and here's the other one that I have. The only like, one of the only like, random rail vehicles. This one's, um, I think it's old Bagley the Fogman from Haunted Henry. This fellow looks good, and he's just like on a hand trolley, as if he's like looking for a runaway. And then last but not least, we have got Toad the Brake Van. Another one of the only rolling stock that I've got from this toy set, but I might consider buying any in Chlorophyll and back and Henrietta. How do I can I don't know how to ask mum because my mother doesn't allow me to buy, doesn't always want me to buy my toys back, which is a big shame considering. Although I was able to get since I was able to get my Bob the Builder toys back, such as the take alongs and taken and plays and. Um, born to play Bob the Builder stuff. Hopefully I can still do the same for these Ertles. I'll bring back some of the toys I had, but I'll bring some of them in the best conditions possible. I had an old Edward diecast toy that was in a weird broken connectors, but anyway, let's move on. Um, the only other ones that I've got is a big giant pullback Percy. Pull him back and he goes. This was from one of my like neighbours on the like shelf of like a window sill. Where that cat is, the one that you've seen in a pub probably one of my videos when I first got my new HD camera. So go back and check if you see a tabby cat. And here's one Ertle product, which isn't Thomas the Tank, but it is a good child children's toy or character. This one is a postman pat van. I still got other like Thomas. I'm focused on like the Ertel diecast trains and like rail vehicles, not the non-rail. This is a postman Pat van. With like crooked, like broken, like wobbly wheels, and I don't know why. And then also the back of it is a bit of a weird like sticker, but he still has a nice license plate that says Pat One. And I haven't done many post and pat videos, but if I do any more, I'll be sure to. Anyways, guys, this is Owen. Just forgot his biplane. I believe it says underneath it's like a Thomas the Tank Engine character, but anyone know who this is? Comment. Anyone know the name of this aeroplane from Thomas the Tank? Comment. I have no idea who it is. And thank you, and I'll see you. Oh, thank Um. <coughs> Excuse me. My channel is going to temporarily die for the next coming months, so I'll see you in the, I don't know, the summer or spring of this year. If not, next year. So, goodbye. For a long, long, long time. Goodbye, YouTube.